welcome to digital learning dear students from this video class onwards we will be discussing on the topic stress this is the fifth chapter and 46th session of organizational behavior of mangrove university the topic today is introduction to stress in the last session we have studied way of acquisition of power the objective of today's lesson is to understand the concept of stress by listening to this video class students will be able to explain the concept of stress what is the stress modern life is full of stress stress on individual ranges from day to day life to their organizational activities stress exists in our day to day activities it ranges till our organizational activities stress is the human reaction to the events in our environment what are the events which are happening in the environment to those events we react human being react so that reaction is stress then cell defines stress as wear and tear on the body in general sense stress is the pressure people feel in life due to their reaction to the situation the stress we the people feel in our, our life because or due to our reaction to the situation we react to the situation and we feel let us discuss the definitions of stress stress may be defined as a state of psychological and or physiological imbalance resulting from the disparity between situational demand and individual's ability and or motivation to meet those demands this is a general definition according to hain hansel stress is an adaptive response to the external situation that results in physical psychological and behavioral deviation for organizational participants according to beer and newman stress is a condition arising from interaction of the people and their jobs and characterized by changes within the people that force them to deviate from their normal function here we see different types of stress you stress stress has both positive and negative aspects you stress is the positive aspect positive aspect of stress is caused by good feelings this form of stress is you stress you stress refers to the healthy positive constructive outcome of stressful events and the stress outcome stress resulting from pleasant events or conditions is called you stress you stress can be defined as a pleasant or curative stress it is a pleasant stress it is not negative it is a positive stress it is necessary it is helpful for the people this stress stress resulting from unpleasant events or conditions is called distress distress is the stress from bad sources this is a negative part of the stress this is negative stress this is resulting from some bad sources 
bad activities reasons are bad activities bad factors there are different types of such stresses for example bad stress if a stimulus we react to is negative we are actually feeling distress so we label it as stress example death of a close friend if a close friend dies we feel stress and such stress is bad stress or distress there is also acute stress acute stress is usually for a short time and may be due to work pressure meeting deadlines pressure or minor accidents over exertion increased physical activity searching something but you mislay misplace it or some similar things there is also chronic stress chronic stress is a prolonged stress that exists for weeks months or even even years it is a for long period this stress is due to poverty broken or stressed families and uh, stressed families and marriages chronic illness you may be affected by chronic illness like cancer or other types of the uh, diseases successive failure in life you are failing in your life successively consecutively in different attempts you are failing it is very harmful to their health now what is not stress we have studied the meaning of stress different types of stress but we should know also what is not stress the word stress has been used so loosely and so many confusing definitions of it have been formulated it is useful to state what does not constitute stress each of the following doesn't constitute the stress let us see one by one stress is not anxiety or it is not nervous tension people exhibiting these behaviors may not be under stress people may be ang in anxiety or they may be in tension second one is stress is not the non specific result of damage on normal and even pleasant activities can produce considerable stress without causing conspicuous damage third one stress is not that which causes an alarm act reaction stress does does that stress does that not stress itself stressors i mean stressors does some of that things stressors does the stress i mean to say that stress is not that which causes an alarm reaction stress itself is not causing an alarm reaction but it is the stressors stress reasons or factors which are resulting or which are causing the stress is causing reactions alarm reaction and fourth one is stress itself is not a non specific reaction i mean to say the pattern of the stress reaction is very specific it affects certain organs in a highly selective manner sometimes the stress may affect the organs also. stress is not a reaction to specific thing stress response can be produced by virtually any agent it may not be due to a specific reason specific factor stress is not necessarily undesirable it all depends on how you take it stress of failure humiliation is detrimental but that of accelerating creative and successful work is beneficial i mean to say your stress is beneficial seventh one is stress cannot and should not be avoided we cannot avoid the stress to some extent it is necessary everybody is always under some degree of stress the statement he is under stress is just as meaningless as he is running a temperature what we actually refer to by means of such phrases is an excess of excess of stress or of the body temperature to sum up stress is the pressure people feel in life due to their reaction to situation people need some stress to survive we cannot avoid everything some time level of stress is required we can refer these books for further studies we have some multiple choice questions to test your understanding
expression. Stress is an adaptive response to the external situation that results in physical, psychological and behavioral deviation for organizational participants. This definition is given by Ansel, Anseli Dehir Luthans Newman. Second question, positive aspect of stress is caused by good feeling. This form of stress is distress, eustress, acute stress, chronic stress. Third question, stress resulting from unpleasant events or condition is called distress, eustress, acute stress, chronic stress. Fourth question, acute stress is usually for long time, short time, both short time, long time, none of the above. Fifth one, stress is dash undesirable, necessarily, not necessarily, really, none of the above. Answers are given here. For first question, A is the answer. For second question, B is the answer. For the third question, A is the answer. For fourth question, B. And for the fifth question, B is the answer. Thank you for listening to the class.